Hello friends, today I'll be showing you how to make a diorama in Planet Zoo. For those of you who don't know, a diorama is a three-dimensional miniature model of a scene typically depicting a historical or cultural event. In Planet Zoo, you can create dioramas in sandbox mode, which allows you to build and customise your own unique habitat and enclosures. First, let's start off by opening up your diorama. To do this, you'll have to go to the sandbox main menu and then you'll be able to select the type of biome you'd like to build in. Once you've selected the biome, use the drop down menu that shows terrain type and select diorama. Then create zoo. Here is your new shiny canvas. Now before you jump into creating your masterpiece, I have a few tips for you. Tip number one, do you know that you can change the settings of your diorama? As you can see right now it is of a sky, but you can actually change this to a solid color by going into your settings, toggle this on, and then pick your colour. Tip number two is you can also adjust the terrain. You can use the drop down menu to create an alternative shape of the diorama such as cube, cylinder or hemisphere. Once you pick the shape that you like, you can adjust the size and the height by sliding the bar from left to right. When you're happy with your new terrain adjustment, click update and the terrain will change. From this point, you can go ahead and start designing your diorama. But before you do, I have another tip for you. Why not spice things up and make it into a challenge? Let's add a little bit of spice, okay? Just a little bit. You can do this by adding money to your game. Go up to the game settings and either pick a challenge mode from the drop down menu or you can customize your settings. This means you can alter things as in having cash, conservation credits, if you prefer welfare for your animals on or off and there's lots of things that you can adjust here. So play about and see which settings works best for you. Personally, I prefer to have power on everything. There's nothing worse than when you're building and you have to find space for power grids. But once you're happy with all those settings, let's get building. As you build your diorama, it's important to keep in mind the needs of your animals. Make sure to include plenty of space for them to roam about and play. You can also alter this by extending your terrain. Make sure you've got plenty of food for your animals and a great water source. You can also add enrichment items such as toys and food feeders to keep your animals entertained. Once you've completed your diorama, you can also upload it to the workshop where other players can view and download your creations. I look forward to seeing your dioramas and if you want to learn how to set up a tour within your diorama, then check out this video here and I will see you over there.